Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got another tricky question for you. And this one is from Madas Maths Paper. Um, it's from Paper U, and it is question number 12. It looks like a very tricky sequences slash series question. So let's give it a go. So a sequence, T1, T2, T3, and so on, is given by Tn plus 1 is equal to Atn plus 3n plus 2. For T natural number and T1 equal to minus 2. Where a one is where a is a non-zero constant, given that the summation up to the third term, starting from the first of r cubed plus t r is equal to twelve. Find the possible values of a. Wowzer. Okay, um, let's have a go at this. So a question like this, it looks a bit daunting. So there's a lot of um, terminology here. Um, notation wise so what I would do is I would start by writing out um, terms of the series um, so we've got t1 here so let's find uh, t2 so I'm going to substitute in uh, into this formula because this gives me the next well term in the sequence and it tells me I need to times the last term in the sequence by a so that would be minus 2 times by a. And then I've got to uh, do uh, 3 times n. Well, in this case, I'm looking for t2. So therefore, n is 1. Uh, so I need to add on 3 times by 1 and then add on 2. OK, great. So this gives me minus 2a plus uh, 5. Okay, now let's find t3. Um, so once again, this is when n is 1, this is when n is 2. Uh, so when n is 2, I would get a multiplied by the last term, the term before, which was minus 2a plus 5 and then add on three lots of n which is two and then add on two as well so this will simplify to minus 2a squared plus 5a um, plus 6 plus 2 gives me plus 8. okay right that's all i'm going to need because the summation is up to the third term and inside the summation is the um, sequence tr so i just need up to t3 which i've got so that's helpful okay so now let's turn our attention to this summation so what on earth does this mean well i'm summing um, up to the third term r cubed plus the um, <clears throat> the sequence tr so let's go again step by step uh, so when my first term is when r is equal to 1 and that's going to give me 1 cubed plus t1 which we know is minus 2 okay now let's try when r is 2 so I'm going to get 2 cubed plus t2 which is minus 2a plus 5 and then when t is free oh sorry when r is free i'm going to get 3 cubed which is 27 uh let's just write 3 cubed to keep the same pattern uh, and then plus t3 which is minus 2a squared plus 5a plus 8 Great, and we're told that equals 12. Oh, just, in, just in about space there. Okay, right, we need to add this all up basically. So we've got one minus two is minus one, plus eight is uh, seven, plus five is 12, uh, plus 27 is um, 39, and then plus eight is 47. So we've got 47. And a's, we've got minus 2a plus 5a, so that is plus 3a. And a squared, we've got minus 2a squared, and that is all equal to 12. 
Okay, so let's bring it all over to the right hand side. So we get a positive uh, 2a squared. So minus 3a and then we need to minus 47 from 12, which gives me um, minus 35. Okay, great. That looks solvable. Uh, so 2a and a. Um, we've got minus 5 over here will give me minus 10. And then plus 7 here will give me a total of minus 3a. So that works. Brilliant. So we get a is equal to minus 7 over 2 or a is equal to 5. Quick check. And it does say the values of a. Uh, so that gives me confidence that I've got two answers. That sounds good. And it just says that a is a non-zero constant. So again, I feel confident with those two. Okay, on to part B, let me grab some space. Okay, uh, let's do part B. And uh, we're asked to sum from r is equal to eight up to 31, t r plus one minus a t r. Okay, so let's see if we can try and simplify this. Uh, we're going to substitute in the expression we have for t of r plus 1. So just replace all the n's in this equation here for r's to get a t r plus 3 r plus 2. And then we're subtracting a t r. And we're going to get a lovely bit of cancellation here. Those are going to go. And that is just going to leave me with this summation of 3r plus 2. Okay, so this is an arithmetic series, if we've not spotted already. Uh, if you're not sure, though, you can always just substitute in the first few values. So it's starting at r is equal to 8. So when I sub in r is equal to 8, um, I get a value of... Um, 24 plus 2, so 26. And when r is 9, that's going to give me a value of 29. When r is 10, we will get uh, 32, um, and so on and so forth. And you can see the pattern now. A, the first term is 26. The common difference is 3. Now, how many terms do we actually need? Well, we need to go from the eighth term to the 31st term, inclusive. So our value for n will be 31 minus 8 plus 1. <laughs> so that gives you 24. Okay, because, again, we're including 8 and 31. So the gap between 8 and 31 is 23. But because we're including the endpoints, we have to add on 1. So it's 24 terms we need. Okay, so let's do the summation then. Uh, of 24 terms. So I'm going to use the formula um, which is given in the A-level formula books. Uh, at least I know it's for Edexcel. And it looks like that. So n is 24. Uh, 2 times a is 2 times 26. n minus 1 is 23. And multiply that by the difference is 3. Okay, I'll put that in my calculator. And I get 1452. Lovely. Right, hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.